that uh, is sort of a black box and there isn't that much of an objective source that doesn't have a commercial interest that provides information. And uh, we, we hope to be that source uh, for, the, for the local community and through our website maybe uh, also to a wi wider community. And I believe that the, uh, the, the most important resource for collectors is reading material. Um, I don't know if I have it in my presentation, I guess not, but um, a, a Turkish collector, a well-known Turkish collector, John Elgis, uh, mentioned this at an interview uh, at, uh, at an art fair, um, and I, I'll paraphrase, paraphrase, he said something like, um, before one becomes uh, an art collector, uh, they need to be a book collector. Um, and I, I really like that, that idea that uh, it does require a lot of reading, not necessarily on the subject of art, but um, uh, I think reading helps. Um, so what we, we do is uh, we keep uh, books on collecting uh, and private collections in our library, and we also bring recent issues of uh, of the major magazines uh, on art uh, so that people can can come in and browse and borrow if they want to. Uh, strangely enough, they are not that easy to uh, to get to in Istanbul, even though you can find it, you know anything else uh, that you might wish. Obviously, there are uh, institutions that uh, that carry these uh, magazines on a regular basis. But again, you know, they need to be a destination, whereas you know, people can just stop by at our place because it's on the way um, and, and look at them. Uh, I believe that one of the major problems uh, that we have uh, pretty much everywhere outside of the uh, English-speaking world, world is, um, is the fact that it is difficult to, to read the, uh, the texts that are being produced, uh, where basically English has become the, the, the dominant language. Uh, even in, in New York or, or London, when people buy an issue of, of Art Forum or the Freeze magazine, uh, most collectors actually you know, look at the pictures and uh, try to, to see what, uh, what gallery is showing what artists, and maybe they, they read the reviews in the back uh, of past shows. But uh, many people skip the, the longer articles because they are written in a heavy language. Uh, in Istanbul, a lot of the collectors are very fluent in spoken English, but it is a burden to read a heavy text in English. Um, and I think that that's a big barrier because if you don't read critical articles about art, uh, you, you cannot develop a, a critical mind towards it. So we do try to translate some of the relevant articles, um, but obviously we don't want to uh, turn into a translation bureau. Uh, I hope that we we uh, we get more help from other institutions to take on that job, and uh, more more of this reading material becomes available. But whatever we translate, we put it on our website, and uh, it is available to the public obviously keeping uh, copyright issues in mind. Well, finally, I would like to mention a um, couple institutions, a couple organizations that we collaborate with uh, in Istanbul, because I think that they might give some ideas uh, for, for what's, uh, what can happen in, in Taipei, and maybe there are similar uh, initiatives here that I would like to hear about. Um, the, f the first one is, um, let me go to this, uh, it's called SPOT and uh, it was started by a young collector and uh, two young curators not very long ago. Uh, they offer once a, f uh, once a week uh, courses um, for about two months, I believe. Uh, and uh, they include formal lessons, 
on contemporary art, uh, com contemporary Turkish art, as well as international art, uh, and they combine that with um, gallery visits, uh, artist studio tours, and uh, private uh, collection visits as much as they can find it. Um, and basically, they their aim is to cultivate a, a, a collector group, a next generation of collectors that uh, that have a a basic at least uh, or maybe a little bit above basic understanding uh, of how to read a, a work of contemporary art um, and I, I think that that uh, that attempt is very much appreciated by uh, by us at least um, and um, they also um, use some of some the, the, a portion of the uh, the course fees to produce a new artwork um, in Istanbul, uh, and they, they try to encourage art patronage. Uh, basically, that that's what we try to do at Collector Space with our video interviews and by bringing collectors uh, to to give talks. Uh, we try to show that. Uh, the ac accomplished collectors have a much deeper engagement with the art community in terms of um, helping uh, artists produce new works or supporting galleries or supporting institutions and uh, most of them are, are truly art patrons and uh, by seeing that level of engagement uh, the, the local community will also be inspired to um, to behave in a similar way. Rather than um, becoming art speculators, they'll become uh, art patrons. And the, the other organization is called Saha. Uh, it was initiated with the leadership of one of the, um, the most active and most admired uh, art patrons, art collectors in Istanbul. And it follows the, the the very successful model of the Outset Contemporary Art Fund. I don't know uh, if people are familiar with it. Uh, that it started about a decade ago in London, and now it has branches uh, in in various countries, including um, Germany, Israel, India, uh, and the Netherlands, I believe. Um, and Saha is a membership-based organization, and people give a certain amount every year, and that money is used to support uh, artists' projects or art production uh, when, when the artist is invited by an international um, exhibition, like, uh, like a biennial, uh, and uh, typically those are the uh, the context where uh, Saha supports uh, the production. Uh, they also uh, give scholarships to curators to attend uh, workshops outside of Turkey. So basically, they, they are increasing the visibility of, of Turkish artists outside, and they are also bringing something back from the international scene to the local scene. Um, at the same time, they also provide members access to uh, to different venues uh, outside of Istanbul. Um, when you know, when when they support Documenta, they take their members to uh, to Castle to to visit the exhibition, and they provide tours, and they can uh, engage the the, the 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 curators because they are they are a supporter. Uh, so it it is a very uh, fulfilling experience when when uh, you get that kind of uh, insight into into the exhibition um, and last but not, not least I would like to talk about salt uh, it, we don't have anything um, directly connected to salt uh, there is not really anything that we can contribute basically but I just want to mention because it's a it's uh, probably the, the the most important development uh, in the in the art scene in Istanbul and and beyond. I would say uh, it is led by 
Vasav. Um, and um, I'm I'm always curious about where they all uh, take take their program. They always do very interesting um, shows, and they are very much into research and archiving. Um, unfortunately, their website is, in my opinion, uh, not very user friendly. It's over designed, um, so I'm afraid that you'll have to come and visit. Um, and while you are in Istanbul, please stop by at Collector Space. But don't come all together because, yeah, <laughs> we can only fit two or three people. Um, that's all. Actually, um, I also had a wonderful, wonderful experience in Istanbul. I was helping Yuko Hasegawa to do the uh, Istanbul Biennial. And that was uh, really uh, an experience of lifetime because um, uh, that was exactly the year of 911. And so uh, we were about to open the exhibitions, uh, you know, three weeks after 911. So when I arrived in in uh, Istanbul, I didn't understand why on earth, you know, that uh, I'm, I was about to go to a five-star hotel in downtown. And why should I uh, drag my luggage to walk for you know, almost one kilometer? And the second morning when I was, especially when I was so famous at Hotel Londra. Okay, uh, it's uh, so famous, so eventually uh, the second, um, and early in the morning I was awakened by very low frequency. Uh, all the bomber airplanes, fighter airplanes, you know, they were uh, taking off. And so even all those birds, uh, parrots, they kept in the hotel, um, kept quiet. You know, they don't, they didn't pray anymore as usual. And so I realized um, uh, Istanbul is really a uh, uh, curious place to be. And in a way, it's, uh, it's so, uh, so much, uh, I would say, caught or a uh, privilege to be uh, at border of the Europe, European and Asian border, while you keep your own uh, uh, religious practice as well as artistic practices. And <clears throat> but at the same time, as, um, um, I was also wondering, uh, how could you ever get rid of the uh, American influences, in a way? Uh, uh, just because, you know, I mean, nothing can, can, can escape gay from politics. So, like, uh, I remember at that time, uh, eight of our major uh, uh, artists, including James Terrell, we had to cancel his uh, installation as, uh, on the island as, uh, for a lighthouse. No, we had no choice because every, everything was um, uh, forbidden to be imported except for med medicines and, and uh, armories. So, uh, so, in a way, you feel doomed. Even though you were, uh, we had the most beautiful location and the best team, and so. Uh, but in any case, uh, <clears throat> my question was basically: uh, when you were talking about that, uh, you try to, uh, uh, you know, to initiate people, especially those community people, um, from are speculated to be, maybe even at least a patron. You know, pat patrons for 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 art, or at least the art you you selected for them, you know, or the collection you created for them uh, to appre to to experience art. Do they, you know, are, are they always positive, or do they also um, have their um, opinion? Like for instance, uh, most of our uh, viewers are mindset to be more uh, receptive to the internationally branded artworks or uh, artists' works in, in this sense. So <clears throat> do, do you sometimes get the reaction like uh, you are doing something as not from, from uh, Turkey or Turkish uh, convention, but it was, um, yeah. But it's, it's kind of copy or even uh, curators or collectors and uh, are, I, I wouldn't say copycats, but it's you know, to adopt the Western or American kind of mentality of uh, 
running a space like this. I mean, I, I come from New York. That's, that's where I got my um, um, familiarity with contemporary art, basically. So uh, whatever we do, and, and uh, our program manager is a graduate of uh, uh, Bard uh, Creatorial Studies, so she's also from, uh, from the same region. Um, but what we try to do uh, is not to uh, be you know, region specific in terms of the collectors that we bring. Uh, even though, you know, for now we, you know, uh, the collectors have come from New York and London uh, mostly because that's that's the easiest way place to to find those collectors. Uh, my goal is to broaden that uh, spectrum and bring collectors from Latin America, from Asia, uh, and and show different collecting practices. Collector space would only be meaningful if it, it really can create different reference points. Our goal is not to create a manual. We don't want to say this is how to, to collect. We want to show as many different ways. Some good, some potentially not that great. But we'll let people judge that for themselves. I think, you know, especially if you think about the, the collector group, they are pretty sophisticated people. And I believe that they can get hints when you give the right hint. Uh, if they don't, that's fine too. Uh, so our challenge is to find the, the collectors from different regions and bring them uh, with the, with also the, the artworks reflecting uh, regional differences potentially. Uh, as I said, we are a very young organization. Uh, my thinking was that you know our first or second exhibition would have no relevance, so we didn't even advertise because uh, the program becomes interesting when you have a selection of these exhibitions. It starts making sense. Similar to this publication, it's number one. Uh, we just managed to get it out. You know, after 12 months uh, of, of the first presentation, it's you know, it, it is not that easy even to bring out something uh, that small. But once it becomes a series and people can, can look at what we are doing, then it, it hopefully will start making sense. And we are at that critical point. In spring, we'll have done uh, six exhibitions. And uh, we'll have shown different types of artworks. You know, we have, uh, we have an installation, we have, uh, a painting that finally we managed to show. Uh, we have a, a digital work that, that was a live stream. Uh, we'll have a performance in January. Uh, so, uh, and, and the collectors will come from different regions uh, at that point. So hopefully people will not see um, collecting and, and artworks only from a, a certain point of view, which is the American way uh, or, or the Western way.